What happened to you, Jack? How many pickles Jack, can you what? shove up your ass? Jack, how did... No! Time for another episode of Kevin's Toy Box. A while back we reviewed the HC Giga, so we have to include its wave mate, the HC Therizinosaurus. I'm really excited for this one, so let's not waste any time and pull it out of the box. Look. Now it's time for the usual procedure of snapping those wires. Click in the tail. Admire the packaging a bit more. And now we can fully enjoy the oh theory. Gosh. And just take a look at that beauty. Probably an unpopular opinion, but I like this guy way more than the Giga. Whoop. But now let's get a closer look, starting with his eye. Just like the Giga, it's a pretty decent looking eye when in direct sunlight. But once you enter the shade, it's as lifeless as a Disney live action remake. Oh, excuse me, it's time for a lunch break. Okay, I'm back. Now, where were we? Oh yeah, the eye. Like I said before, depending on the angle, it can look really good or really bad. But it doesn't change the fact this guy has a beautiful head sculpt with lovely paint applications. I just wish his teeth weren't so sharp. Theory may be a theropod, but it is a herbivore after all. But I guess I'm not one to talk. I eat lots of plants, yet my teeth are pretty sharp. Continuing with paint apps, he has a lovely dry brushing of red paint over his black feathers. And unlike most Mattel toys, this paint runs all the way down to his tail. But the quality doesn't stop there. It also applies to his giant tickle chicken hands. And they didn't leave it as one color either. They gave him a very weathered kind of look. But the best part of this toy is the amazing articulation and posability. Just like the Giga, the tail can move in any direction and hold the pose too. The legs have powerful joints in all the sections you'd expect the leg to have articulation in. The head is amazing, as it can move in any direction you want, and as shown earlier, the mouth can open real wide. The arm, elbow, and hand are all articulated. But the best part is those fingers. Or, to be more accurate, it's the claws that move around individually. But the fact you can pose them at all is still astronomical. Is that even the right word? I don't know. I don't have a dictionary. And while posing with this thing is fun, it's time for size comparison. Let's start off with the usual comparisons. A Mattel human Velociraptor Blue and a Beast of the Mesozoic Utah Raptor. As you can see, it's a pretty big boy. But nowhere near as big as the Giga, like in the movies. But I'm okay with this as it actually matches with real life theory. I seriously can't wait for Zane Reborn to add these in future videos. Most people would think we'd make them fight. But let's be honest, Zane Reborn's a goofy guy and will probably make them the best of friends. But enough comparisons with the Apex Predator. Let's compare him with his predecessor. The Slash and Strike Theory, is that what it's called? I don't remember. 
Zane may have improved it with a new paint job, but the proportions and the sculpt are still vastly superior on the HC version. The only one up the original has is that feathered tail. But the new guy has better claws, better feet, and the face on this guy, well, let's just say there's no comparison. Ow. But even without all that stuff, I still say get this one over the old one just because of those articulated claws. Especially if you need an acupuncture appointment. Oh, that's nice. I mean, this new one is giving the old one an existential crisis. Will you die alone? But there's no need to worry, sir. You still have a purpose in this household. Zen Reborn's gonna repaint you into the Dinosaur King, Therizinosaurus. But considering how much of a crybaby it is, I guess it's not much of an improvement. <laughs> a fate worse than death, honestly. And that concludes my review on the Hammond Collection Therizinosaurus. I'd say this is the best Hammond Collection figure to come out so far. But what do I know? I'm just some random lizard on the internet. But before we end the video, let's test how good the articulation and poseability on this theory really is with a pose party! guys, uh, that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed this, then why not consider subscribing to the channel? Or else I'll come over it! Hey guys, thanks for watching the video from beginning to end. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel and join the Zane Reborn community. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.